One of the most impressive Elizabethan houses in England is the home to this precious document. It was found by chance more than 300 years after Amy's death. So what we have here is a letter from Amy Dudley herself to her tailor. And what's intriguing about it is both that it's one of the only two letters of her own to survive and the fact that it was written a bare fortnight before her death. This is to desire you to take such pains for me as to make this gown of velvet which I send you with such a collar as you made the russet taffeta gown you sent me last. If she were indeed gravely ill, you might ask whether she would have been writing off to, you know, order a new expensive gown. It gives us a sense that even that close to her death, from whatever cause, she was still a living, breathing, interested woman. And I think that that's very valuable because it lets us see a bit of Amy herself and not just as this passive victim of other people's There's machinations. Lots of the other men around her would have appeared with hands full of papers and, you know, worried brows and a mouth full of problems. He'd have appeared as, as, as an invitation to play. His reaction when he hears his wife has died is very, very interesting because really his reaction then is the strongest evidence we have for his innocence. 